Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the main card is the attic over here and this is going in and, uh, you know, this is about receiving some kind of inheritance. Um, but this is also kind of going back into your past, delving into your past, digging into the past uh, to get some ideas about how to deal with this, the present. So this might be doing some research into your past lives or your ancestry for some reason or the other. Or you might be even, um, you know, getting in contact with people from your past. But you're finding out some kind of information about the past uh, that is coming to light right now. This could, like I said, be about inheritance, inheriting money from somebody, uh, maybe somebody leaving you some kind of windfall, uh, some kind of inheritance uh, coming in for you as well. So that could be the possibility. Now, um, you've got the honest card over here. So this is getting success in whatever you've been doing. So you've been meeting a lot of people. You can see a lot, making a lot of social contacts and, uh, you know, getting a, receiving a lot of messages over here. You've got a little bird over here. Uh, but this is also trying to build something and being successful at what you've been doing. Maybe, you know, in order for you to get that success, you've needed to do some kind of research as well. You've got the garden over here. So whatever you're going, you're doing, uh, you know, it's uh, involving a lot of people. Uh, there might be some kind of uh, element of nature that's involved in this. And it's about you using a lot of your creativity in whatever you're doing. So whatever this project that you're doing, uh, it, you know, that you're working so hard on is becoming very successful. You are having to do a lot of research about it, but you're also being able to use a lot of your creativity to bring in that um, that new thing. It's growing as, you know, you can see there's uh, trees and so forth growing in this very, very stark landscape. So something that you're bringing in is, uh, you know, um, giving things, you're doing things from a very different perspective and it's bringing a lot of light into that particular situation. So your creativity is, you know, enhancing whatever it is you're doing and uh, people are appreciating that. You're doing things that are very, very novel, very, very innovative. Now in the past you've got the chasm over here and you've got money. So you're very, very scared about even starting this particular project. You're very, very worried that it was going to be a failure um, or it was not going to be, it was not going to work out. Uh, some money has been coming in, so there's success that has been coming in with this particular project. You can see this woman's got her um, jacket open and all this money is coming in over here. So there has been money coming in, there has been success. You could have even won the lottery, um, uh, you know, with this particular card, but this has happened in the past, but there has been some kind of windfall that has come to you, some kind of money that has come for you. Now going into the future, you've got the moon card over here and you've got the authority over here. So the moon card is about, uh, you know, dealing with people that are not always, uh, you know, very, very upfront. There could be hidden enemies over there with that moon card, uh, seeing things in a little bit of a bad perspective. There could be a little bit of depression as well that goes on with the moon card. Uh, it's also a card about illusions. So, you know, being worried about things and maybe making out that it, they're even worse than they are. Maybe things appear to be really bad right now, but they're not as bad as they seem to be. Uh, or, or they're not as bad as you think they are. Um, so you also, you do need to spend some time, um, you know, by yourself meditating as well. You can see this meditation going on over here. And, um, you know, even though you you might be feeling a little bit isolated from everybody as well, uh, it looks like, you know, there are, there are people there to support you. There's offers coming in of support. Uh, there's a new moon. So it looks like there's something brand new that's going to be start and somebody makes an offer to you uh, with this uh, new moon. So there's new phase coming in. So maybe there's a different pathway that you are going to be offered, a different solution to your problems. Uh, and you might need to be think outside the box. Do something bigger than, you know, take that chance. You can see these people are walking on stilts here. So, you know, this is doing something precarious, doing something new, doing something that you're scared to do. But you might need to take that plunge in order for you to make, uh, you know, greater success. Now, there's that authority figure over here. So, uh, you know, people telling you what to do. So you really don't, you know, it seems like you're afraid of people uh, bossing you or bullying you around. There could be some kind of legal issue as well that you might well be dealing with as, you know, uh, something from the, from the past emerges that presents some kind of legal problem as well. So you could be dealing with that as well. 
but also being in a situation where people are starting to tell you what to do and you're not very, very happy about it. You need to speak up about it. Don't hide your fears. Don't hide your upset. You can see this woman's hiding this dog here, but she's very, very upset. This dog is snarling. So you're angry about being told what to do and you're not speaking up. You do need to speak up. So, if, you know, there could be something coming from the past to, to uh, you know, almost bully you into doing, following a certain direction. Maybe people expect you to do things a certain way and you're not happy to do it that way. Now, your creativity is going to bring a lot of success. So you do need to, to be very individual about how you do things and think for yourself and take that chance. You've got that still severe. You need to take a chance. And it looks like with, once you take a chance, the new offer comes in for you. And it's a new cycle that begins. And the clouds fade away. You can see these clouds going away. Uh, but also with the moon card, it talks about, you know, be careful of who you trust. Don't be uh, naive. That's a very, very important point with the moon card. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to use the Gate Tarot for the main read. Now I have shuffled this deck. And I'm going to just draw some cards. Okay, so the bottom of the deck, you've got uh, the intuitive. And this is actually the high priestess uh, in this particular deck. It's called the intuitive. So this is about being worried about things, you know. Um, it's about spending a lot of time by yourself. You can see this person. It, there's a new cycle that's beginning as well. So, uh, you know, this is about relying on your own intuition. But you can see this person looks very, very worried, very, very upset. Not, um, you know, there's no happy smile on their face. So it looks like you might be spending a lot about a lot of time by yourself. You're focusing on your fears a bit too much, maybe, with this particular card. You need to come out of that. So there are structures in place that are going to be giving you stability, a new cycle beginning. And don't be afraid about taking the plunge and doing something brand new. This is about fears. And, you know, the moon is about reflection. And then you've got a double reflection over here a double moon over here so this is almost talking about being really very focused on the fears rather than actually seeing things uh you know seeing the bigger picture now the moon is also the the high priestess is also about learning and researching and watching out for people that are not in doing things for your best interest these are about hidden things uh so you need to the the high priestess is somebody that has the keys to uh, knowledge so, you know, you do have what it takes to actually get that extra knowledge. So there might be some further study coming in for you as well. Uh, but it's something where you have to take charge of that situation. And you have to rely on your own intuition. You have to go deep within yourself. And this might ma mean spending some time by yourself and focusing on yourself as well. So it's a time to be selfish. Um, and with the, the high priestess, there's always that veil where things are hidden, uh, you know, the, things not having come to light. So you may need to ask people the right questions to get the right answers because people are not coming forth with the information that you need. So this is about relying on your own intuition, relying on your inner gut feeling to get things done. And this could also be about bringing, you know, new information coming in or doing the research. You've got the Guide of Wands over here. Now, the Guide of Wands is like the Page of Wands. So this is about news coming in about a new project uh, that's going to uh, you know, spur things into um, action. He's got a wand in his hand over here. So this gives you power back in your hand over here. So whatever this information comes in, and it could also involve travel as well because you've got this angel with really, really big wings here. Um, you know, it's going to allow you to start manifesting whatever this news is that comes in. You could also be you know, um, planning a new trip or planning a business trip, or planning uh, where you do foreign travel. <clears throat> this is also about meeting a lot of people. So this could be uh, communicating with a lot of foreign people, but some kind of news coming in or some kind of travel going on there. You've got the five of wands here. So this is about a lot of competition. So you're dealing with a situation 
where you are having to, uh, you know, it's a difficult situation dealing with difficult people. Uh, they have, um, you know, everybody's got their own say. Maybe everybody's an expert at what they do. Uh, but whatever you're dealing with, you're having a bit of problems. You're having to fight your way to get there. So maybe you want to start something brand new and maybe you're going for an, a job interview, but a lot of people are also applying for the same job. So you've got to shine, uh, you know, present yourself as being better than the rest of the crowd uh, and having to deal with a lot of uh, difficult people. So, you know, there could be some kind of challenge that is coming. This is usually a card of challenge, challenging people, challenging news. So this is uh, coupled with this guide of uh, wands. There could be some kind of challenging news that comes in uh, that, you know, but it gives you some edge. There's some edge over the rest of the crowd. So it looks like, you know, if you use, listen for that news or wait for that news or whatever that communication is, it's going to allow you to deal with all these difficulties that you that are coming your way. Now you've got the seven of coins over here, and this is a card about investing and there not being any payoff. So it seems like whatever you put a lot of hard work in and didn't have any, uh, you didn't see any rewards from it. And so you're, you know, you work pretty hard. This gardener's worked pretty hard at this particular garden. Uh, maybe he hasn't gotten paid. Uh, so, you know, there seems to be some kind of investment that you made of time or effort. Did very, You worked very hard, very long hours, and there was no, um, maybe that particular project was not a success because things have gone in the bin here. So it means that, you know, whatever it was did not produce abundance. It didn't give you the rewards that you wanted to. Now you've got the Emperor card over here, and this is taking control of that situation. So you're trying to get your control back. You could have been dealing, uh, you know, with a very difficult person. This could have been an employer or somebody, uh, you know, superior to you. It could even be a father figure with this Emperor card over here. And this is talking about, you know, taking that, this person may have been controlling everything, manipulating everything here. Uh, this could be an Aries or a Scorpio because this card is ruled by Mars and that is uh, that sign rules, uh, those uh, that uh, planet rules those two signs. Uh, but maybe you're being bullied or you're being manipulated or you're being controlled from a distance. Uh, maybe somebody's, you know, uh, making all the rules and you have to just follow it. Uh, and, uh, you know, you don't really have a say. It's almost like being a puppet on a string here. And maybe that's how you're feeling at this particular moment. And maybe this is the thing that is making you unhappy because, you know, you can see that unhappiness in this person's face. Uh, maybe this control, this person is very controlling and you're not very, very thrilled about it. you got the full card. It seems like you want to make a break away from it and you want to make a new beginning. So it looks like you want to take off. You're waiting for some kind of communication to come in so that you can actually make that break and move on. Maybe you're even asking for advice, asking people for some solution to your particular problem and how you can actually move on. You've got the Youth of Cups over here. So this is, uh, you know, usually um, it's like the Page of Cups. So some kind of communication coming in. You can see this man's listening to seashells. So something coming in maybe from uh, overseas, some kind of message coming in. So there's some kind of foreign communication. Now, both these cards, uh, this... Um, guide of wands and this youth of cups it seems to be about foreign communication coming in there's a lot of birds in both these cups this is overseas and wands usually deals with things that are foreign so it's like you're waiting for something to come in from overseas and it looks like some kind of news is coming in there might be some further study as well involved in that particular job or whatever you're going to be doing so some kind of research or some kind of learning that is involved so there might be an offer to do uh, learning or further study coming in for you and you're going to be working very, very hard. You've got that Youth of Swords over here. This person's working with a computer. So you can see there's a lot of mental work that you're going to be doing. Uh, maybe uh, something that involves, uh, you know, technology. Uh, and also it involves a lot of communication as well with this Youth of Swords over here. So something that you're going to be very, very focused on. Some new project. And it looks like you're going to be getting news about that as well. And there might be some high learning as well that comes in. Now, you've got the Ace of Coins over here, and this is you trying to manifest money. So it looks like you are going to be very, very focused on your work and manifesting new money or manifesting a new job. It looks like some brand new offer coming in. It looks like since these two cards are next to each other, Youth of Cups and this Ace of Coins, you're going to get news of a brand new job that is going to be coming in. These cards are interacting with each other. So this is going to be something really good. And it might be in a warmer country, even in some place close to the sea that you're going to be working at. You've got the moon over here. So this is about being worried and being stressed out about things uh, or, you know, having a lot of illusions about things. So you need to dump, 
You need to end, because then you got the last phase of the moon over here. You need to end all those illusions that you have about anything that you're dealing with right now. So any depression or misery or upset that you're dealing with, especially, you know, if you're going through a phase um, where you're feeling a bit anxious about things or worried about things, that phase needs to end for you to move on. Because it looks like you're going to be getting some get brand use and very soon you're going to be working pretty hard, uh, very focused on whatever you're going to be doing. So going into the future, you've got the Hermit, you've got the Three of Cups and the Nine of Coins. Now the Hermit is about focusing on your work, seeing things from a bigger, broader perspective. This could be about travel as well. This could also be about study because the Hermit is ruled by Virgo and Virgo focuses on study and work and becoming an expert at what you're doing, gaining new knowledge. So this could be about a new avenue of study uh, or a new work, um, a new job coming in where you're becoming an expert and you're doing things from a very, very different perspective as well. There's a celebration coming in over here with this Three of Cups. You will be meeting a lot of new friends, making new contacts, uh, you know, wherever you go. It looks like there might be some travel involved, so you might be going somewhere to do that new job or start afresh and you'll be meeting a lot of people, starting brand new, making new contacts. And and a lot of money coming in is going to give you a lot of financial independence. So this is your card, and this looks like you know money's coming to you, and you're going to be on top of your job. So as far as work goes, uh, you know it looks like uh, you know um, you are going to be on top of things as well. With that nine of coins, is having that financial independence, uh, being able to sort out your financial problems, celebrating uh, you know your work and you meeting new friends. And maybe a lot of travel as well involved with this particular job or traveling somewhere else. So some news coming in for a brand new job for you, um, you know, and uh, it looks like you're going to be pretty focused on it very, very soon. Um, so um, if you are vying for a new post over here and there's a lot of competition, make sure that you have something in hand that gives you the edge. And you have to dig deep within yourself to find that because you have some kind of skill that is very unique and once you uh, present that, it seems like you get this new particular post. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Angel Tarot, and that's going to be for the Oracle Read. And it says, falling in love or wedding proposals, a need to balance emotions, an invitation to a social event. So there could be some kind of social event uh, that you need to attend or, you know, even uh, meeting new people as well. This is also an invitation to study because the Cups also deals with education. So there could be an offer to do further study. And it's to do with work because you've got the Three of Earth sitting next to it. So there's some kind of uh, opportunity that is coming for you to further your career. A power, uh, the power of creativity, recognition for high quality work, be a team player. So there's a new opportunity for learning, but there's also a job that is that you're going to be doing where you're working with people, collaborating with a lot of people. This social invitation could be something to do with, you know, meeting all the people that you're going to be working with. Maybe it's a, uh, some get together or gathering that you have on the work front as well coming up for you soon. But it looks like you will be collaborating with a lot of people. And it's going to transform you quite a bit. You've got that butterfly of transformation there. The Knight of Air says events that occur at great speed. So take the time to carefully review your options, creative solutions. So whatever news is coming in is going to be coming in very, very quickly. And it's going to allow you to move forward very quickly. You can see this Knight of Air moving very quickly, uh, forward very quickly. And also this could be about signing new contracts. So you might be traveling and also signing new contracts. But things are going to happen suddenly or very, very quickly for you so you know keep your head about you don't get overwhelmed by things it looks like this brand new job is coming in this news is coming in night affair also brings in news uh, but things are going to be coming in very very quickly for you and you're going to be very very focused on your work and it looks like the money is going to be coming in for you so um, it looks like you know uh, try and seek there's a new uh, moon coming in over here, a new phase beginning in your life. So things are starting to change in a positive way for you. So I hope that this reading has resonated. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.